everybody, this is Faith from faithspeaceacademy.com. Thank you so much for purchasing our treasure box for Canva creators. Now, in this video, I want to share with you um, how to quickly customize three Sri's design. Okay, this solopreneur vision board is created by Sri from Snazzy Designs Forever. Okay, so I just want to give you some ideas on how to quickly customize it. Now, just to let you know, she has included several different templates in her package. Okay, so there's this vision board and there's planners and journals as well. But we're just going to take a look at this one for now. Okay, so well, once you open it, you get a template. It gets saved in saved uh, as a copy into your Canva account. Okay, so let's just make some changes. Okay, now I, you know, really the whole purpose of using PLR templates is to speed up your product creation process. So I really wouldn't spend too much time editing things okay you can mix and match from different products you can add in your own pages you can add in your own elements and stuff like that but the whole idea is don't spend too much time on it okay um i really love how clean the designs are and i think what i want to do is maybe make a duplicate of this okay and let's change this out and see if we can get our own frame so we're adding another page of frames so going to elements searching for frames in fact let's look for grids okay let's look for some grid i am going to choose this one okay and then just resize it okay so what i'm trying to do is add on one more page of vision board where people have options of picking a particular layout and then I want to look for frames now. So when it's a grid, you see that there are actually multiple image placeholders in one element, in one group, right? And then here, I want to add on like this, okay, and make a duplicate of the circle. So these are individual uh, frames, okay? So something like this, a little bit more, something that's overlap like this. Okay, so this could be my new uh, additional page of vision board, right? So just to give, basically to kind of beef up the content in this vision board that I want to sell or use as a lead magnet. Uh, FYI, please, please read all the terms and conditions very carefully whenever you're using PLR templates, not just uh, Sri's products, but everybody's products, okay? Every time you purchase a PLR template, please make sure you're reading uh, the licensing terms, what is allowed and what is not allowed. Okay, so we're just going to do this vision board like this. Mm, maybe not a circle. Maybe another square. Something like this. Okay, just to have some variety for the vision board. And then um, I want to change out the color, so I'm just deleting that. And let's find something glittery. Search for glittery. And I could use... I'm going to search for the free elements, okay, under free to filter it. And what do I want to use? How about this? This looks pretty nice. And just set image as background. Nice, but it could be a bit too much. Okay, maybe let me search for rainbow instead. I'm trying to find something that could fill the background. Okay, delete this. Maybe this. And set image as background, okay. And maybe I want it, I want a thinner border. So I'm gonna add on an element, go back to elements and add on a square. Where's my square? I'm just gonna search for square or rectangle here. Now, if you could see that there are dotted lines around a border that forms a border around my page and you want it on yours also, go to file, Go to settings and show margins okay that's how it will appear so i'm just going to just stretch it out a little bit i do want the rainbow uh background but i think it's a little too much so i'm adding a white rectangle and overlay and then positioning it to the back so it's still on top of the rainbow but below the other elements and going to position making sure that it is in the center and in the middle so it's properly aligned. Uh, I think the video glitched a little bit, so let me just repeat that. What I want is that I don't want, 
I, I love the rainbow colors, but I don't want it to be too overwhelming. I still like the white spaces behind the elements. In this case, behind the grids and behind the words. So what I did was I made sure to go to position and bring it to the back. Now, because the, the rainbow graphics already set as background, so it it is just all the way all the back already. So if I were to put the white rectangle, I could still put it to the back and it will still be above the rainbow background layer. Okay, and I also went to position and clicked on center as well as middle to make sure that it's properly aligned. Okay, so I like this. The other thing I want to change is possibly the font. Um, I want to look for some script font. So I click on the handwriting tab here to look for some script font and maybe I could try this one. That's not bad. Okay, and now change all. So all of the previous fonts that the original content creator used would now be changed. Okay, let's just check the other pages. You will see that this has also changed. The body text, I don't really want to change them, so I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, uh, we're just gonna leave it. Now, now that I have this background that I like, I'm going to control, press control C to copy and go into a different page now, deleting this and control V to paste. Once again, positioning it, sorry. Um, yeah, <laughs> come back here. Come back here to copy this rectangle, control C, control V to paste it, positioning it to the back. There we go. And just basically repeating the process. Okay, so I'm trying to see if I can co co copy both of them. The rainbow background, holding on the shift key, clicking onto my rectangle. No, I can't because it's a backdrop. All right, luckily there aren't too many pages here, so I'll just do it one by one. Control C and con Control C and Control V, okay, to copy it and then to paste it here, pasting it. Okay, I'm just really just deleting the background and pasting the rainbow one and then now picking the white rectangle and pasting it here. Control V to paste it, position to the back. And this one, this page also, Control V to paste it, positioning it to the back. And here, Control V to paste, positioning it to the back. And one more, Control V to paste, positioning it to the back. And then, so I like this new design. And here, I am just going to delete everything. Okay. And once more, have the rainbow background, Control C, Control V to paste it. And going to position because there's some layers of this, like there's some words here that I don't really want it anymore. So I could just delete it and here delete it. And I'm going to one of the pages to grab this control C because I want to use the same font and control V to paste it. And here I would just write as my vision board. That's it. I could make it even bigger, like, I don't know, change it to 80. There we go. There we go. Okay, because it's, because it's the cover page, I might want to go a little bit more wild with the colors. And here I could choose effects. Let's say, let's see if I can do something. The outline, change it to white. Ah, I like this better. Or maybe even try under effects, echo, change it to white. Hmm, I like the outline better. Going back to effects, going to the outline and having it to the white outline. And I could also change the thickness of the outline. Okay. Alrighty, this is nice. So it's really just a couple of changes here and there, but it now looks very different from the original. Okay. So, um, it's really entirely up to you. Now, just one thing to note, you would see that this vision board has a lot more space here. And I'm trying to see if I could extend it. Yeah, this is probably what I want so that it will look more aligned to this one because it's all the way to the top. Okay, so it looks neater, okay? And maybe this, holding down the shift key, moving the arrows so that my daily doodle, the word is above this. Same thing for this one, holding down the shift key to select multiple items, using my arrow keys on the keyboard to just move, move it up a little bit and I'm done. 
So I'm happy now and this is my final product which is super fast and easy for me to just customize it just by making a few tweaks from Shree's original design. I hope you find this to be helpful. Have fun using her templates and I will see you around.